This is the Music History Today podcast for August 27th. On today's show, Pearl Jam debuts and New Age music gets a chart. Well, at least for a little while. First up, though, on this date in 1964, the musical movie Mary Poppins premiered in movie theaters. In 1965, the Beatles hung out with one of their idols, Elvis Presley, for the first time. In 1970, Jimi Hendrix recorded his last song at the studio that he owned, Electric Lady Studios in New York City. His last song recorded there was Slow Blues. In 1977, Jackson Brown played a gig in Columbia, Maryland that was used for his album Running on Empty. Also in 1977, Jimmy Buffett married his wife, Jane Slagsvall. In 1987, a judge declared a mistrial in the government's case against Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedys. The government tried to prosecute Biafra for distributing harmful materials to minors. The harmful material? Well, it was the band's album cover art of a penis for their album Frankenchrist. In 1988, Billboard magazine started the New Age Albums Chart. The first artist to chart at number one was David Lands for the album Christofori's Dream. In 1989, Berlin held the BCM Summer Dance Festival with the Village People and Stetsasonic among the performers. In 1989, Izzy Stradlin was arrested for public urination on an airplane after going on the airplane floor because the line for the bathroom was way too long, at least according to him. In 1992, someone paid over $87,000 for John Lennon's original lyrics for the Beatles song, A Day in the Life. Also in 1992, the show about a rock band, The Heights, premiered on television. Although the show didn't last all that long, about eight episodes tops, it did spawn the number one hit, How Do You Talk to an Angel? In 2003, Janice Ian married lawyer Patricia Snyder. In 2011, Thomas Mars of the band Phoenix married movie director Sofia Coppola. In 2013, the country music group Alabama reunited for a 40th anniversary album. And in 2016, the group My Teen was formed. In classical music, in 1892, there was a fire at the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. And in 1939, opera singer Alan Jones recorded the song I'm Falling in Love with Someone. In theater in 1934, Ira Gershwin premiered his musical Life Begins at 840 on Broadway. And in 1977, the musical Chicago closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on August 27th in 1986, Tina Turner received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2017, Kendrick Lamar won Video of the Year at the MTV Video Music Awards for the song Humble. And in 2018, Weird Al Yankovic received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on August 27th include in 1967 when Stevie Wonder released I Was Made to Love Her. In 1975, Donna Summer released Love to Love You Baby. In 1976, Eric Clapton released No Reason to Cry and Manfred Mann's Earth Band released The Roaring Silence. In 1979, ZZ Top released De Guayo. Pat Benatar released In the Heat of the Night, and the Alan Parsons Project released Eve. In 1980, the B-52s released Wild Planet. In 1982, Billy Squire released his hit album, Emotions in Motion. In 1988, Mika Paris released So Good. In 1990, Garth Brooks released his huge album, No Fences. In 1991, Pearl Jam released their debut album, Ten. Also in 1991, the Jerry Garcia Band released their self-titled album. Brenda Lee released Anthology 1956-1980. Allison Moyer released Hoodoo. Procol Harum released The Prodigal Stranger. Bad English released Backlash. And Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band released The Fire Inside. In 1996, A-Plus released Latchkey Kid. The Who released My Generation, the very best of The Who. And Pearl Jam was at it again, this time releasing their album No Code. 
In 2002, Coldplay released A Rush of Blood to the Head. Jimmy Fallon actually released an album. He released The Bathroom Wall. Uncle Cracker released No Stranger to Shame. Boston released Corporate America. And Grand Funk Railroad released Trunk of Funk. In 2007, Ringo Starr released Photograph, the very best of Ringo Starr. And Procol Harum released Secrets of the Hive. In 2013, the Little River Band released Cuts Like a Diamond and Bob Dylan released the Bootleg Series Volume 10, Another Self-Portrait 1969 to 1971. Singles that were released in the UK on August 27th include in 1965 when the Four Tops released It's the Same Old Song, the Supremes released Nothing But Heartaches, and the Hollies released Look Through Any Window. In 1976, Jefferson Starship released With Your Love. Meanwhile, in America, in 1968, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap released Over You. In 1971, the Moody Blues released The Story in Your Eyes. In 1974, BT Express released Do It Till You Satisfied. In 1979, The Knack released Good Girls Don't. In 1996, Sublime released What I Got, a huge song, and also on that same day, R.E.M. released Ebo the Letter. In 2002, Avril Lavigne released Skater Boy, and in 2012, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis released Thrift Shop. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 27th include singer Kim Petras, Alex Lifeson of Rush, Sarah Neufeld of Arcade Fire, rapper Mace, singer Mario, John Siebels of Eve Six, Tony Canal of No Doubt, Gospel singer Yolanda Adams, Glenn Matlock of The Sex Pistols, Jeff Cook of Alabama, Cuba Gooding Sr. of The Main Ingredient, Daryl Dragon, better known as The Captain in The Captain and Tennille, Phil Shulman of Gentle Giants, and also Simon Dupree and The Big Sound. That's a band, not a guy. Singer Tommy Sands, Duke Allured of Shawadi Wadi, bassist Tim Bogart of Vanilla Fudge, rapper Rod Wave, singer Alexander Stewart, rapper Jack Boy, Adam Met of AJR, Neil Murray of White Snake, Lori Weissfield of Wishbone Ash, country music singer Stephanie Michelle Steele, percussionist David Billy Knight, Kevin Cavanaugh of Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes, guitarist Reza Bassi, singer Mark Calderon of Color Me Bad, singer Lee Brennan of 911, jazz guitarist Sonny Chirac, jazz composer and musician Alice Coltrane, session percussionist Tony Crombie, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Martha Ray, the big mouth as she called herself. Percussionist and saxophonist Lester Young, composer Rebecca Leferich Clark, and composer Eric Coates. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 27th include composer Joaquin Deprez, who passed away in 1521 at the age of somewhere between 66 to 71 since they haven't quite figured out when he was born. Also, composer Claude Goudemel passed away in 1572 at the age of 62. Composer Tomas de Victoria passed away in 1611 at the age of 63. Composer Johann Fischer passed away in 1746 at the age of 89. Composer Ignaz von Siegfried passed away in 1841 at the age of 65. Composer Gottfried Fink passed away in 1846 at the age of 63. Composer Francisco da Costa passed away in 1855 at the age of 36. 
pianist Joseph Nowakowski passed away in 1865 at the age of 64. Composer August Pott passed away in 1883 at the age of 76. Composer Wilhelm Volkmar passed away in 1887 at the age of 74. Composer Carl Fuchs passed away in 1922 at the age of 83. Composer Ali Speaks passed away in 1948 at the age of 74. Conductor Oscar Fernandez passed away in 1948 at the age of 50. Composer Nikolai Berezowski passed away in 1953 at the age of 53. Composer Carlos Lavin passed away in 1962 at the age of 79. Composer Alexei Zavotov passed away in 1964 at the age of 59. Composer Otto Reinhold passed away in 1965 at the age of 66. Beatles manager Brian Epstein passed away from an accidental drug overdose in 1967 at the age of 32. Jazz singer Lil Hardin Armstrong passed away in 1971 at the age of 73. Singer Mukesh passed away from heart issues in 1976 at the age of 53. Organist Borislaw Zabelski passed away in 1979 at the age of 82. Singer Joan Edwards of the Joan Edwards TV show passed away in 1981 at the age of 62. DJ Scott LaRock passed away in 1987 at the age of 25. The composer for The Wiz, Broadway musical songwriter Charlie Smalls, passed away from a burst appendix in 1987 at the age of 43. Blues guitar great and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Stevie Ray Vaughan passed away in a helicopter accident in 1998, coming back from a music festival at the age of 35. Jazz pianist and arranger Marty Page passed away from cancer in 1995 at the age of 70. Singer Big D. Irwin passed away from heart issues in 1995 at the age of 63. The orchestra leader for Arthur Godfrey and also for Vic Damone, Mr. Burt Farber passed away in 2005 at the age of 92. Guitarist Jesse Pintado of the group Napalm Death passed away in 2006 at the age of 37. Doug Riley, a.k.a. Dr. Music of the Famous People Players, passed away from heart issues in 2007 at the age of 62. Composer and lyricist Sandy Wilson passed away in 2014 at the age of 90. And the conductor of the San Jose Symphony from 1972 to 1992, and also the San Francisco Midsummer Mozart Festival from 1974 to 2015, George Cleave passed away in 2015 at the age of 79. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 28th, when in 2003, the famous Britney Madonna Christina kiss happened during the MTV Video Music Awards. <laughs> 